Hey guys, welcome back to No Catchy Name. It's me, Ella. I'm wearing the same clothes that you saw me in yesterday because I'm filming this one clip today and then the rest of it will be uh, Saturday. <laughs> so today is a national holiday and it is National Give Something Away Day. <laughs> so I thought today would be a perfect day to do my random act of kindness things. <laughs> so um, I just wanted to show you this stuff real quick and then I will go into some clips of tomorrow. I haven't made them yet, obviously, but uh, I'm going to package all these up to that. And then tomorrow while we're out playing Pokemon, uh, I'm going to leave them in the little free libraries and little free pantries around my community so that people can take them if they want them. So what I did is I already, you know, I've already showed you guys the crochet things I've made a few times. If you haven't seen them, I will leave the links for all of them down below. Um, they're all video tutorials. And here's the uh, worry worm. Except this little guy. I only made one of them so far. I did get permission from the original pattern designer to make a video tutorial of this little guy. And I would like to do that. I just, I don't know when. <laughs> but I will share that eventually whenever I get a chance to do it. Anyway, so I got all these little guys. And then I went to the Dollar Tree. I was looking for organza bags. They used to sell them. And the only ones I could find were really little. And um, none of these would fit in there. But I did find a package of clear plastic bags there. A bunch of them actually had a lot. There's 40 of them for a dollar 25. Now these are not high quality bags. They're actually they're very thin, um, because they're <laughs> they're Dollar Tree bags, you know. But I think they will work for what I'm using them for because all of mine are going inside of containers. If you were gonna leave them out in the wild, I've seen people do that, like on benches or um, around parks, you know. I would probably get a higher quality bag or use organza bags because um, the reason I wanted the organza bags because I thought you know it wouldn't get like mildewy. Um, you know, air would be able to pass through and all that. But, uh, these are going to be inside those little house thingies, you know, book library things and all that. So I think they're going to be okay. But, um, so I got these little bags and I, I made sure I put one of each already in there to make sure it fits. So here's the worry worm. <laughs> and here's one of the little suns. One of the flowers, a little snug of a fit, but he fits in there. And then one of the, uh, lucky pennies. So, and then I also went to my printer back here. Not that one. That's my old printer. I'm still trying to use all the ink out of it. But I did actually spend the money and invest it in like a nice printer. It's right there. You see it right there. <laughs> it was kind of expensive. But uh, I think it'd be good for not only my no catchy name stuff, but also homeschooling and all that stuff. So uh, it's one of those tank ones. Anyways, <laughs> I went to Canva and I designed um, one for the Lucky Penny. And if you want these graphics, let me know and I will email them to you so that you can print them and use them as well. And then this is like a generic one. This one just says, uh, I'm not lost. I'm just alone. If I made you smile, please take me home. That'll be for like the suns and the flowers and the little bears and stuff like that. And then, sorry, I heard someone talking. I thought someone was here. <laughs> but, and then this one, I did not make this one. This one is from the Random Acts of Crochet Kindness Facebook group. They have a file section that's full of these little graphics. Um, so this is one that someone else made and put on there for other people to use. And it just, it's the worry one one. Worry worm one. <laughs> And it says, hi, I'm your little worry worm. Keep me close. Keep me near. When a worry pops in your head, hold me tight. Whisper in my ear. I will take away your worry so you have nothing left to fear. And then on the back of all of these, I made a graphic and printed out on the back of them. Uh, <laughs> I put my no, my no catchy name crochet stuff, the Instagram and YouTube. So if people wanted to look me up, they could. And then I put the Facebook information and put that they can share a photo if they want to. And then also did put a choking hazard. Which I'm realizing some of them got cut <laughs> bad. Are all of them like that? No, I think just that one is. But it's still readable. Maybe I'll just not use that one. But yeah, the rest of them are okay. <laughs> Anyways, just a choking hazard for the ones like the worry worms with the Google eyes. And uh, these little sunglasses. If a kid was to chew it off, um, you know, don't want them to choke on it. So I did put that on there. But anyways, if you want any of those graphics, let me know in my email and I will send them over to you. Someone else, someone's already asked for some and I sent them over there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to bag all these up and show them to you bagged up. And then tomorrow, um, I'll put them out everywhere and I will make clips of that too. So that'll be right after this. <laughs> all right, here they all are packaged up. So, uh, so right, this first drop <laughs> has, uh, three worry worms, four of the little suns, one of the little bears, <laughs> Four flowers and six lucky pennies. Now I know, um, I know I've seen someone 
recently, <laughs> I can't remember who, mentioned uh, like the cost of these, like if it's worth doing or not. Uh, you know, that's, that's up to the person who's doing it. Me, all the yarn that I used is scrap yarn or yarn that I have around. Uh, I did purchase these glasses specifically for this. And I, you know, I guess I used the ink, but I got my big printer over there has like two years worth of ink in it. So I don't mind using some of it. Um, I think it's just individual. You know, if you want to spend the time to make them, do it. If you don't, don't. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to lay these around out tomorrow. I'll probably, let's see here. Let me think. Uh, one, two, three. Don't listen. Okay. That one park, the other park. I don't want to say the names because y'all don't need to know everything about where I live. Uh, the phone company. There's another one of those little libraries, but I can't remember where it's at off the top of my head. Uh, and then the insurance company has a pantry. And then the help center has a pantry. So there's at least five places I'll be visiting tomorrow. Uh, and I'm going to leave more than one in each. So I'll divvy that up somehow. <laughs> Uh, so there's options, you know, if someone doesn't feel like taking a flower, maybe they need a lucky penny in their life. <laughs> um, but yeah, so I'm going to take clips of that and they'll be right after this. And yeah, so enjoy it. Also, it's supposed to rain tomorrow, so I might get wet doing this. 